Willie D Live. It's Willie D, y'all. Back with another episode of information and instructions to help you navigate through this wild, crazy, beautiful world. In the studio, DJ Paul. What's it's up, the man Willie? that makes the people move. Like, ain't nothing happening at no party without the DJ. And this is one of the best in the game. There you go. What's, man, happening? Man. What's happening, Willie? Hey, man, let's get right to it. Are you still getting only uh, three hours of sleep? Nah, I get more than three hours of sleep now, man. Thank uh, God, man. You know, and I figured it out. I figured it out how to, because uh, I don't like to take pills and shit like that. I don't take pills. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't even take prescription pills. I don't take vitamins. I don't take none of that shit. My doctor told me the less powders you can put in your body, the better. Right. So I always try to find natural things for everything. And I found a natural melatonin, and it's called tart cherry juice. Tart, tart cherry, cherry juice, juice, about, you drink that before bed. I drink about a cup about the size of that candle right there, about like that. You drink that, man, within within 20 minutes, you're going to be yawning. And about 40 minutes, you're going to be knocked out. Right. So now I get, yeah, I get like six, seven, eight. Is it natural? Yeah, it's natural, 100%. The bottle that the company that I get it from, 100% uh, uh, cherry juice. Mm. Yeah, it works. That, that sounds like something that could be marketed, man, and, and you could like come up, come up off of. Yeah, I mean, you yeah, because like sleep, more people should sleep know about it. Dep deprivation is a big deal. Yeah, it is, man. Fuck, I, it, man. It was. It used to be so hard for me to sleep. Sometimes <clears throat> it would piss me off. I'd be like, God, I can't sleep for shit. Tossing and turning, this and that. And then I found out about that. And then I also had a nutritionist, and uh, cause I wanted to. You know, gain weight and, you know, I work out a lot. I work out four times a week, mixed martial arts, and then uh, two days of mixed martial arts, two days of physical training. And uh, my nutritionist told me this. He was like, uh, if you drink, uh, no, eat. If you eat, um, if you eat uh, uh, sorbet, like sorbet 45 minutes before bed, that help you sleep. And that one I didn't realize, I didn't, I didn't get at first. I was like, really? Because I was like, the sugar going to... Like, lift you up. He said, yeah, it's going to lift you up for a minute, then it's going to drop you. So you're like, 45 minutes for bed, eat you eat you some sorbet, mm -hmm. and, it, and, it, and it works. That mm -hmm. works, too. Interesting. Now, what was the root cause of you not being able to get any sleep? Man, it's just being What's an artist. What's going through your mind? What you thinking about? Man, beats. <laughs> beats. Not just that, though, because I, I do a lot of things. Like, I, I do, uh, I own a bunch of properties. I do a lot of real estate. And I own a restaurant, I own, you know, we do the clothes, you know, the design, you know, I hypnotize minds, three six mafia merch, all that shit. I produce artists, I manage artists, so my mind is always somewhere, you know, it's thinking about something, a new way to make money or something. You know, a lady told me a long time ago that you supposed to have always it's like a saying somewhere that you should always have seven forms of income. Mm -hmm. You know, now I think I'm probably up to 700 forms. Right. <laughs> but, yeah, so my mind is always thinking, thinking of how to improve each each and every one of them. You know, I was reading some of your Wikipedia, man, and, and it's dizzying the m amount of things and ventures that you have your hand in. Yeah. Do you ever forget that you started a company? Like, <laughs> you ever forget? <laughs> Man, now, now I'll tell you one thing that I did do. I almost forgot how many homes I owned. I had to go back and look at the list. I was like, holy shit. But, yeah, like, yeah, it's a lot, man. I just try to do a, you know, do a whole lot, you know, because you know how it is. Like, you're OG. I've been listening to you since the 80s. And you know how it is, like, we can't be doing this shit forever. They ain't gonna right. wanna listen to us forever. We'll have our loyal fans that listen to us forever, but would that really pay the bills? Right. You know, so you just gotta be smart with your money and uh, and just keep investing it, you know, flipping it, turning it into something else. Yeah, there was a point in my career where I thought like once I got in, as long as I was dedicated and talented and continue to work, that yeah, the money was gonna always be there, and you Talent know, like is I the know, last thing that works. Yeah, exactly, yeah. but you know, like I know, things happen. You know, the label can go into reconstruction if you're in a group. You know, may not you may have uncooperating members or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a number of things that can that can happen. Maybe you have a personal issue in your life or whatever. Yeah, but 
it made me realize that, yeah, I better diversify. You got because to. Because I cannot count on this. And this is the trip part about it is that this is something that you love to do. You know you can do it better than most people, uh-huh. but still, it just ain't, it ain't like playing sports, right? It's not like basketball, football. As long as you can run that ball, yeah. oh, you're going to get a contract. Yeah. As long as you can catch that ball, as long as you can put those, as long as you can put up 30 points. Yeah. Oh, you got you put up 20 points. You're gonna get a contract. You can put up if you can snatch t- you can give a team on any given night 10 rebounds. Yeah. You're gonna make millions and millions of dollars. It's just simple that as numbers, but yeah. with with art it's different. Yeah, yeah, it is. Especially with music because music can be controlled by something as small as something as small as the young kids don't like this sound no more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or they don't like this style of clothes no more. Or this or that. There's a bunch of rules in, in hip hop music. I say hip hop music. I ain't, I ain't gonna say that in no other music. Cause like it ain't like that in country or you know, right. EDM or pop or something. You know what I'm saying? But with hip hop music, you know what I'm saying? Like hip hop music, they can they can stop listening to you just because it, you over 28 years old or something. You right. never know with these little motherfuckers. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? But meanwhile, you can have like a group like, um, what's my boy name? Daft Punk. I think they like clo- creeping up to 60 or something. They definitely in their 50s. Uh, Rolling They're, Stones who in their 70s. Yeah. <laughs> still touring and selling out. Yeah. But the reason why I use Daft Punk as an example because, you know, they wear the mask. Not about know how they look. They still make new music. Okay. They still make new hits. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, all of us can tour for the rest of our life off these old songs, but still being able to put out new music is a different thing. And I still put out new music that people like. Matter of fact, my Spotify uh, monthly listeners went up, you know, in the last few years. I only had like 140,000 monthly listeners probably like three years ago, a year and a half ago, I think it was. Yeah, like two, year and a half. And, um... Well, probably like two years. And now, you know, I stay, I float around three million monthly listeners. So, yeah. you know, so my mind, that's the reason why I can't sleep, because it's always trying to think of a way to improve everything that I do. Yeah. And where did that come from? Like, where did that start? Like, it was what? From my you, dad. Your dad. And, and dad. what did your dad do for a living? He owned a pest control company. He originally worked for Terminex. So you so you were raised by a boss. Yeah. He originally okay. worked for Terminex and he studied they they plan and they whole uh you know, MO the system, yeah. And uh and he opened up his own company. Right. And when know. he snatched their clients and everything. Huh? Probably did. Yeah. I mean <laughs> I mean that's that's the move. Yeah. If if you If I came in and did it way cheaper, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, if you work for a company, I don't understand how somebody could work for a company 30 years or 40 years and get them all of that time and all that money. And in, instead of, like, going in and learning what that company does and then competing with them, like, yeah. basically compete against them. Yeah. Or or maybe become, like, what do they call those, uh, a contractor with that company or whatever, where you provide certain uh, goods and services to that company. Well, it's funny you brought that up. So the lady that told me about the seven forms of income, she was an older black lady. I was sitting at a, a restaurant in Nashville, and I was just eating, and she uh, walked over to me and my brother, and she was like, I'm getting my husband a laptop for uh, his his birthday, which I'll happen to know a good kind. You know, I told her about the kind I like and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And uh, we started talking and this and that, and she told us about the seven forms of income, and she said, I did this. She said, me and my husband had a company where we supplied drink machines for a big office building. And she said, one day I asked him, I was like, who do the, your janitor work? She said, I got that that position. She said, uh, who do the landscaping? She said, then we got that job. Mm-hmm. So she started, she done knocked out three just in that one house, three different jobs just in that one house. She probably do more than that by now. Right. And that was, th- that was half of the seven almost that she... Seven forms of income that she want to have in her life. She knocked out three of them just asking that uh, building that she was working with. So yeah. kind of like what you were just saying. Yeah, that's how I got my um, landscaper. His his wife was my house cleaner. Mm-hmm. And she was like, well, uh, my husband do, does uh, landscaping. And then once he came over and he started telling me about 
his friend that does towel work. Because mm-hmm. he saw that I was looking at some towel. He saw some towel samples on my uh, yeah. countertop. Yeah. And yeah, it's just, just and keep it Then his friend probably threw him a few bucks for helping him out. Yeah. Getting him the job. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what it's about, man. So, but now I sleep good. Yeah. Go to bed early sometimes. I used to go to bed, like, go to sleep like five in the morning. Now I try to get in the bed like 10. But I fucking sit up and watch crime shows to like one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or you, watch YouTube tutorials. You, you know what's what's interesting about you? Well, many things, but one of the things that's interesting about you is that, in in person, you have a very laid back disposition, but you stay in motion, yeah. and you're and you you uh, inject yourself in like high performance type situations. Yeah. Like when you're on that stage, when the, the, even the music that you make, yeah, the music that you make is, it's like counter to who you are as yeah. a person. The way you, you know, the way yeah. the way you move. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like you laid back, you kick it, you in the cut. But that music is like eh, in your face. Ah, oh, da 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 da. Yeah, yeah, the music you know, is like, like yeah, snout this, smoke that, yeah, drink like this, it's... beat this person up, rob this. So when you go there, you go there. Like, <laughs> yeah. so is, is that was that what it is? Like you, you've been well, laid when we back. Was young. So... <laughs> no, when we was young, we was really bad. You know, like we we went to a school, Hillcrest High School. They had one of the first gang bang gang bang murders in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, obviously the whole city had murders, but they had one of the first ones that was like, where some bloods was trying to kill some gangster disciples or some crips or whatever, shot a chili through the neck. It was sad as fuck when we was walking home. It was all over the news. So like, yeah, when we was young, we grew up doing all kind of crazy shit. You know, me, Crunchy, Lord, Coop, Juicy, all of us. But as we got older and we started making money, you know, we started Veering away from that craziness. You, you, you knew Coopster and 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 Coopster was like a son of mine. Yeah. Coopster, I I took Coopster from a group home and moved him in my house with me. Okay. Yeah, in the early nineties, Crunchy went to high school with me. Boo went to high school with me. Lord Infamous is my basically my brother. He's really my uh my nephew. Yeah, R.I.P. But uh, yeah, yeah R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. Yeah. Boo. R.I.P. Yeah, Coop. Yeah. So yeah, all of us knew each other since high school. Yeah. I met Coop, like, right after high school, but, well, yeah, during high school, really, last year of high school. Yeah. Man, how, how did, how did uh, you know, you and, you and uh, Lord Infamous, y'all, y'all, y'all started the group together. What's yeah. the Serial Killers? Serial Killers, yeah. Right. How long did y'all, how long were y'all in the group together? Well... It, Wasn't it, like, three projects? How many the, projects the did The Serial Killers, do? we did about two, maybe... Three, maybe two under the name of Serial Killers. And then we just started doing uh, DJ Paul and Lord Infamous. And we probably did, we did like three of those. And then uh, we stopped doing those and everything kind of went into Triple Six Mafia. Because by that time, I was really doing a lot of stuff with Juicy and it went into Triple Six Mafia. Yeah. 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 So, but when when he, how did, how did, how did he die? Lord Infamous, he died from a, a heart attack. So this was sudden death. Yeah. Caught, caught everybody off guard. Yeah, 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 super. Yeah. Super. 